Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to trigger a job remotely using HTTP. So you can trigger from any browser or any client or from any script or language from where you can make a HTTP get call. We'll learn two important concepts in this tutorial. So watch this tutorial till end. So how we achieve this first. So what we'll do, we'll go to the job and we'll find a option called build trigger and check that option. Once you check that option, you will find a box to add authentication token, add your own token strong enough. And then you can trigger that job using this URL. So for demo, let's say I have job one. So what I'll open, go to this configure section here and go down in build trigger you'll find an option called trigger build remotely check this option now you'll find a box where you have to add your token for simplicity i'm just adding a very simple token now just apply and you will see there's a hint written right you can use this url to trigger this job remotely just save this and trigger this job using browser so what i'll do i'll trigger this job from a different browser then you will understand the use case here so let's say let's hit this so as soon as i hit this i i was prompt to add my credentials here means that this request should be authenticated before execute or before trigger that job so now let's understand what was the purpose of this remotely trigger. So purpose was any user which does not know anything about Jenkins and does not have any access can just trigger that particular job by hitting a URL. But that is not happening because user has to log in. Anyway, if user log in here, user could simply log in and trigger that job. So our purpose are not solved. Then what is the reason behind this? So now, as I said, this request has to be authenticated, which is which should not be the case here right and so what is the solution means at least to trigger this job that user should have a read access means anonymous user should have access so anyway if user anonymous user has access user can see the jobs here why this is happening actually this Jenkins evaluate the URI hierarchy and Jenkins only evaluate till job not after that so even Jenkins evaluate till job and it find there is a no access to anonymous so that's why it was asking to log in means to authenticate the user even you have the correct token because it did not analyze your token it just check the hierarchy and verify like oh this this job does not have any access to anonymous user right so this is the use case either now what you have to do there's two options you can do either you can add a anonymous access to that job so the anonymous access user can hit that url or you can add a additional plugin which give you anonymous access not exactly anonymous access but it will give you another way by which you can without login or without anonymous access you can trigger your job either with build parameters or without build parameters so the first one we'll talk about in coming tutorials where i will explain the access and permissions as part of this tutorial now i'll show you a solution using this plugin so now first let's install that plugin go to this configure uh, means dashboard and then manage jenkins go to the plugin section and go to the available plugins because it's not installed so let's search this build authentication uh, see this build authentication token root so it will give you the access to root if you have proper token so just install this install this and say install now the plugin has been installed so how you can call this now instead of using that url now you have to use build by token build and now the query parameters job what is your job name and what is your token this is when you don't have build parameters so if your job has build parameter and you need to pass information dynamic information while well, trigger that so you can use this build by token slash build with parameters and now you have to pass your parameter along with the token and job name so let's see how we do that so you will see my job one last build by number five so let me hit this again one more time in a, another tab and now it should executed now let go back and see there see the build 6 has been triggered now right and whatever message you have now let's add 
two build parameters to it so we can check with the build parameter so go to the configure this i have already explained so you will see now here i have two parameters uh, tech and author two build parameters tech and author and same i'm printing here if you come here i'm just saying echo and these parameter tech and author just save it and now let me trigger that job with parameter from another browser so as soon as i hit this let me okay uh hit this it came to login but that's not the reason reason being my url which i created has some empty spaces if you see here percentage so because of that empty spaces in url this is not identified so what i'll do i'll remove these spaces and i hit again now let me hit again so if i hit now you will see there is no prompt for login and if i go there you must see build number eight which is the last right now and open this and console so you see here the this one the build trigger with remote param java and sunil which actually i passed here if you see here it removed let me show you again see these parameters now your token job tech is java and author is sunil so using this even you can trigger with parameters I hope you understood. If you have any question, add your comment. Thank you.